What's up, everybody? Welcome to Mass Effect Mondays here on Dorkhaven. I'm Blazing Wing. Cousin is behind the wheel, proverbially. Did I, did I say that right? I don't know. It's been a long behind day. Behind the... Oh, well, I'm behind the controller, literally. Yes. It's a proverbial wheel, but a literal controller. Yes. Unless you're playing Mario Kart Wii, in which case it can be one and the same. But this is not Mario Kart Wii. Either that or Mario Kart Wii is way different than I remember. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselors at this Okay, I already already fondled that keeper. <laughs> you do enjoy fondling the keepers, don't you? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, that's the put gun away weapon. Good to know. <laughs> oh, I didn't, I didn't put, I didn't add any mods, so I was gonna add mods for next time, but that's eh, fine. I didn't... We we got we got three games in the trilogy to get through. You'll get to the mods. <laughs> I didn't. Well, I didn't find any that would be like funny without like completely breaking my will to live the complications of putting them in. <laughs> what were we doing? You'd think I would know by now, but... We are... I don't think... Ah, okay. We, we just got crowned... Uh, well, crowned. We got um, initiated as a specter. Yeah, so I'm just I'm running around doing side quests. As I believe we got Rex, I think we have the full team except for Liara, which we don't get till we go to the one planet. Ther thermite or whatever it is. Oh, Therum. If that's I it, that's although, it. Although I like thermite. Well, I mean, thermite is an explosive kind. This keeper's finally in his proper spot, though. Oh, that's good. He, like, for the longest time in the original computer version, he, he's, he's over, like, here. <laughs> he's in the wrong spot. Maybe he wanted a change of scenery. <laughs> oh, I'll deal with that in a minute. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I gotta go find Emily Wong. That's right. That's why I was heading towards the wards. Where's the sprint button? There's the sprint button. <laughs> I like how it doesn't actually make you move any faster. You just kind of, like, do a little jog. You do a weird little run. From the weird little run you were already doing. <laughs> One of the things I always liked about the little elevator blurbs when you're going through them is um, I was always a fan of how they would comment on like stuff like missions and stuff that you did. Like an hour or so after you did them, they'd be like, oh, so a pirate place was raided on this one planet. And you're like, oh, yeah, that was me like. 20 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, or like they give you missions sometimes, like oh hey, go here and do this thing, there's trouble, like, yeah. you know? Oh yeah, like, oh, we heard about something, this thing on the radio, we should probably check it out. Yep. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by Biotic Probably like this one. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna have like a go check out the Hades Gamma Cluster. Like, yep. See, it just put it in my journal. Well, that was very nice of the game to play along and help illustrate what we were just talking about. Some it does that. Hi. Yeah, yes, yes. Ring. Did you find any evidence in his office? Is there anything you can share with me? 
<laughs> is there anything you could shit here? Be Take these. The information you're looking for. <laughs> Take these. You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Oh, if you do it that way, I can't promise her an exclusive interview, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, so now where are we headed? Let's see, I turned those into Emily Long, board freight are missing survey team, so I've got two things to do. Uh, I might as well go poke Conrad Werner real quick and make sure that's a thing. As much as he's annoying. <laughs> I mean, it, but it's such an iconic thing that Starfield fucking copied it, so, you know. I am so honored to meet you. <laughs> Pleasure of all my odds. Yeah, why not? And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. Oh, uh, I just yeah. I most of my time trying to stay alive. And help <laughs> I love all the options. Is just leave me alone. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I mean, he hates you at the end of it either way, I think. They never fix that glitch, so... Uh, yeah, fine, I'll give you... I'll be, I'll be a good person in the little stuff. <laughs> Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I don't think your wife is going to be impressed, dude. you on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. Next time I'm on Earth, but neither of us are on Earth, Conrad! <laughs> well, I feel like he's just saying, like, he lives on Earth, and the next time you're both on Earth together, he will take you out for a drink. That's how I always took it. Yeah, but, like... I don't... It just... It doesn't make any sense lore-wise, given, like... Why is he on the Citadel? They never stop pulling out the guns, please. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back to Dr. Michelle. There's a quest there. Then we'll go to the ship and get off planet and go to Theorem. Yes. Go get <laughs> Liara. Has been too long since we have had fun, fun shooty times. Right? So much of Mass Effect is shooty, 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 then, like, long stretches of just walking around talking to people. Oh, it's a Bioware game. It's either a graphic novel or a shooter. You you do this, and in three, she's like chief of the hospital. Oh, nice. Yep. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? <coughs> someone from my past. I can take care of you. I might be able to help you. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges. They just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. And now they're blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license. They'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the market. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? I'll make it. Not if I murder him. I mean, what? I was supposed <laughs> to speak with a merchant named Morland down in the market. Oh, we were just at Morland's. Really yep, we were just at Morland's. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. Good luck, Commander. Be careful down there. 
Marlin's famous supplies. All right, my food's here. Break real quick. I will okay. be right back. All right. Alright, back. I got my food. Alright, awesome. Fucking, fucking dominoes, man. Just pain in the ass all the way around. Oh yeah, I you, ordered you my food I was gonna say, you should, tell, you, you should tell your uh, dominoes story. <laughs> while we're traveling to, Mor traveling to Moreland. <laughs> and his famous supplies. Oh god, that's greasy. No. <laughs> It's good, but it's like this, this is like twenty pounds extra grease for my trouble. Yes, thank you for taking the guns out again. <laughs> I'm eating pizza. I didn't specifically request the murder button. Jesus! <laughs> ah, put those away. You don't know what to do with them anyway. <laughs> Um, yeah, I ordered my food like two and a half, now about three hours ago. Um, and when it showed up, it couldn't have been more wrong. Like, they deliberately got several, like, almost deliberately got several things wrong. You'd think in that two and a half hours, they could have double-checked it against the order or something, but nope. Nah! Nah! No, not at all. Will you st I'm trying to eat. Shepard, beans, beans, you're <laughs> literally jumping the gun a little bit. <laughs> Pun intended. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. Well, yes, that's why I said it. <laughs> you want many good supplies, yes? <laughs> I like how they tried to make it a thing that, like, Solarians just talk like autistic people. 
No offense to autistic people, but We're like. expecting a delivery of medical supplies. But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Things have changed, Marlin. <laughs> Hi, Callie. The doctor, I don't. This is not right, human. Shut up, Marlin. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. Fuck, I don't have a high enough charisma yet. Um... Are you gonna do the... Um... The trick on... Oh. Okay. Well, I... What trick? Oh, there's there's a trick on... Oh, I'm blanking on the name of the ice planet at the moment. Um... But when you talk, it's in the Legendary Edition. I guess it was in the original, too, and they copied it over to the Legendary. That there's a certain conversation you have with a dude where you talk to him, and then you get Renegade or Paragon points, and then you have to talk to him again to move the conversation forward but you can tell him, like, you need more time or something, and then the game takes you back to the first part of the conversation where you can get more Paragon and Renegade points and then send him back. Ow. And basically, in, like, 20 minutes, you can max out your Paragon or Renegade. Uh, I'm not that interested in that. <laughs> Words, locations. I would like medical clinic markets back. CSEC. Presidium locations. Um... Oh, c -sec's where the... c -sec is where the plucking chip is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. We're just, we're just gonna ignore that I just murdered that dude and go to Theorem. We're just, we're just gonna go to Theorem. Just go to Theorem. I'll just go to Theorem. <laughs> Fine. Do you ever regret leaving Citadel Security to pursue Saren, Garrus? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way, I'd say that beats c -Sec. Yeah, Garrus isn't one for regulations. Korean Batman! He hates regulations, he loves he's, calibrations. He's Bat-Turian. bat <laughs> Give him a ship. Give him a ship. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a specter. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Converse. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharaohs in Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. Anything else? We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice on that recording? She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Sounds like we should head for the I'll start there. Cluster. Uh, do you know if you do Pharos and Novaria first and then you show up for Deliara, she's fucking delirious by that point? Eh. And doesn't, like, doesn't believe you've actually showed up? I did not know that. That's actually kind of funny. Yeah. No, because I always go and get her first, so... Yeah, because she, um... She's apparently been stuck there for a while by the time you show up if you don't do her first. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. 
I have a meeting to get to. I am important, man. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you in like two and a half games. Good luck with that. Hello. Oh, and they've upped the... They've upped the amount of money per keeper. Nice. I wonder how many more you need. Um... I think they swapped it so the quest actually keeps track now. Because I know in the old edition the quest didn't keep track. Oh yeah, no, it does in the in the journal on the legendary edition. It did not in the original edition. No, no, it did not. I like how they they celebrated Mass Effect Day last year, and they were like, "Yeah, this is the statistics of how people play the first game." And then it was like 100% of people still looking for that last fucking keeper that they could have sworn they scanned. <laughs> how are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop it. I mean, you're going to be a counselor and then they're going to ignore that. And then, you know, you're going to have a bit of a wild ride. Just saying. I'll be here if you need me. Yeah. You're gonna, um... You're gonna be a counselor, and then they're just gonna kind of forget that happened, and they're gonna make you a general, despite the fact that, you know... You were an admiral already, so it's gonna be a wild career, man. Just hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, the Norman DVI is also Jennifer Hale. That doesn't surprise me. I'm sure she does a bunch of random little voices. It's taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on the job. There's a channel I follow on YouTube named Josh Strife Hayes, who, uh, like, exclusively covers MMO games. And he has a series called Worst MMO Ever, where he's basically playing through as many MMOs as he can find and highlighting the highlights and the you know lowlights of every game. One of them is Star Wars The Old Republic, and uh, one of the jokes in that episode was how, uh, ironically also a Bioware game, well, it not anymore, but they built it, but they're selling it to somebody else or something. There's a whole thing. Anyways, that's not important. <laughs> the point of the story, one of his jokes is that they have a uh, a diverse voice cast in Star Wars The Old Republic and then he proceeds to list like seven roles in a row that are all voiced by Nolan North and then one by David Hayter at the very end. <laughs> So yeah, I'm sure it's a Bioware thing. They probably have like 20 or 30 voice actors and they're like, alright, here's the eight roles you're reading today. Yep. Well, they're paying them, so you know. I mean, Jennifer Hale's got top billing. It's, it's really important that she do Commander Shepard and ten other minimal voice roles, because we wouldn't want to slow her roll, you know? <laughs> exactly. So we've only given her half the amount of work we give all the other people. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, my dog has climbed into my lap while I'm sitting here. And by lap, I mean on my chest, because she shifted as I was talking. Hi. You're very cute. Yeah, me... Run around and poke for codex entries. I remember I originally couldn't play the second one on Xbox because I didn't own an HD TV at the time. So it just didn't work, or what? Yeah, because they, they, uh, the original uh, Xbox version of the second one was built on 360 to take sole advantage of the um, 
you know, the, the new flat screen HD technology at the time. And if you didn't have an HD TV, the, it would just be blurry as all fuck. Like, you uh, could play it, but you couldn't read a goddamn thing. Like, it would play, you just you just couldn't read anything. Yeah. I tried, anyway. We had, like, a... I, I think we had, like, a 40-inch flat... Uh, a 40-inch, not flat screen, but a CRT at the time. And, I mean, it worked. I could somewhat gather what was going on. <laughs> My sister had a flat screen, but her husband was playing it, and they... <clears throat> Look, the, the less said about him, the better. Oh, I know, that was the story I think you started telling last, last week. time, yeah. yeah. Yeah, was that, like, he, I, he, he was playing it, and I didn't want him to play it, because I was over there hiding, because my brother is really loud and so I had a migraine and I was hiding at her house and he cranked it all the way up and it felt like the space battle was in my fucking head. So I went and turned it down and he turned it back up the minute I walked out so I pulled the fucking knob off the surround sound <laughs> thing and threw it outside. Nice. And he told my sister and my sister just looks at him as like, what did you do to her? <laughs> oh yeah, I gave Garus and Rex casual clothing for the ship. Oh fun. Yeah, there's Garrus in his his casual fuddy duddy spacesuit. He is super casual Tarian. Oh yeah, and Rex, Rex in his space PJs. I forgot all about this. Hey buddy. How are you enjoying your space PJs? Good? Good? Okay. <laughs> we'll run around and do all the actual talking to people um, after we get Liara so that we can just include her. Okay. Let's see, did I change Tally? Yep, that's her, that's her, uh, that's her game two suit. Oh, cool. Yeah. Because I have the I have the tally consistency project mod. Yeah, they definitely updated a lot for the second game. Yeah, I also have the game mods, so don't worry about that. I have all the game mods. <laughs> By Bioware made some wrong choices. We fixed it. Nice. And and like. The thing is, they didn't, like, originally Miranda and Jack were going to be romances for either Shepard, because it was kind of determined that they were just, like, self-obsessed with Shepard no matter what. And EA went, ew, no. You can't do that. You can't have the gays. Yeah, that sounds about right. Because the the reason they were able to restore the content of Miranda and Jack was because Bioware had actually already recorded the lines with fucking, for the romances, with fucking the voice actors. Yeah. And it was still on the disc, so they were able to restore those. Like, they have since done an AI mod version for Mark Mir where you can record, where you can romance Kaiden no matter what. Oh, fun. Yeah. And he already sounds like an AI, so... <laughs> he already, yeah, he already sounds like an AI, so it's fine. It's fine. So many, so many pointless screens, guys. Oh, hey, I have Pinnacle Station! Yeah, I've you... never done Pinnacle Station. I was saying, yeah, I think you mentioned that uh, last time that you got the Pinnacle Station DLC. Yeah, I've never done Pinnacle. We should. We're gonna do Pinnacle Station after uh, we get so, Liara. Yeah, I, I've, ne I've never done it either. We're do we're doing Pinnacle Station after we do Liara because I've never done it. Okay. Is there anyone in chat? Because I told my told my brother we were watching. Uh, not at the moment. No. <laughs> Let me poke him and see if he's watching. My other, my, the brother that doesn't live with me. I assumed. Yes.
Let's see. Oh, there we go. Somebody just popped up in chat. Oh. Uh, Is it? Flezzy Boy. Oh, gross. It's the oh, Kate Flezzy. Kane. It's the Kate Kane fan oh, again. That's that's Na that's Crash. That's <laughs> I almost called you Nash. I'm going to keep calling you Nash if you don't fuck off, buddy. It's Crash. That's Crash. I mean, I mean it shares like three out of five of the same letters. I, that's pretty close. <laughs> Yeah. You, you, you got the name roughly 60% correct. I'd say roughly 90% correct. Uh, no, you're right. You're right. About eight, uh, 70, 80. Okay, yeah. we're going to go Garrus, Ad Squad, and Ashley so that I don't get my ass constantly kicked by Geth. Uh, I will swing by. He'll, he will swing by before he sleeps. Flezzy Boy just said Trash Rodriguez here. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's it's true. It's true. I need to get the add-on for Twitch that just reads people's chats as uh, AI. Oh, yeah? And, uh, while you're playing, because I think that would have been funny to hear the AI say, Trash Rodriguez here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we need to get an AI that does comments. The only thing is, those tend to cost money, and we're both broke. Yeah. Donate no, today! <laughs> hey, I do want to... I was like, once we get affiliate, we can actually start, uh, like, doing monetizing and subscriptions and stuff. We can't... Or, uh, we just need another, like, ten subs or so, and then need an average of, I think, like, it's like three people watching per stream. Which I feel like we're kind of basically hitting that at the moment. I mean, let's fair, be fair, only because we beg our friends. Thank you, Crash. Uh, Crash Crash wants his AI voice to be Christopher Walken or Andre the Giant. Uh, I humbly, I humbly, I humbly suggest his AI voice be uh, Gur from Invader Zim. <laughs> Oh, look, you can actually see that coming now. They literally shaped oh. their ship like a turd. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Crash says, I'll take it. Oh, we're getting a little bit of choppiness here. Oh, that's because things are happening. Ah. Yeah, unfortunately, we're too poor to pay for Nitro at the moment, so best we could do when recording off Discord is 30 FPS. Um, 720p. Well, I, I might spring for Nitro. You know, they didn't manage to... No, shit. They didn't manage to make the Mako not handle like a fucking cow on a unicycle. <laughs> Crash just said, bro, I don't even watch. I'm here for the words. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the words. fair. Uh, we we are we are his zenith match writing soundtrack. Aw, well that's <laughs> great. You're, you're gonna fuck up those matches though, by the way. <laughs> Real vote of confidence there. Eh. <laughs> Okay, um, this, this, Ashley just said that this route is a no-go. They have height and cover. Ashley, you're not even in the car! <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's, that's great advice, Ashley. You're absolutely right. Where the fuck are you? Things She's that like, are where they don't belong. <laughs> She's like, I'm monitoring. I'm monitoring from the ship. <laughs> oh, good. Could you, I don't know, be useful? Yeah, right. Because I'm going to get out of the car for this. Not... Oh, do we have games on our phone?
I... Dip, dip. Guys! Guys! That's the car! Guys! <laughs> guys! Oh! Okay! I did bring Ashley! Okay! Uh, well, there you go! I didn't know I brought her! Okay! <laughs> I didn't know I brought Ashley! Uh, yes, uh, Cove, we, 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 we will play all the Raid Shadow Legends if they sponsor us. We've already discussed right? this privately. We will I, absolutely yeah. we will absolutely sell ourselves out for Raid Shadow Legends. Dude, I will say anything but better help, but because that's 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 uh some questionable morality stuff that I don't want, but um otherwise, yeah, I'm willing to sell myself out for basically any product and or like <laughs> endorsement deal. I drink no alcohol, and I would 100% be the uh, voice of Budweiser in a heartbeat if they asked me. I'd be like, this is the best beer in the world, probably. I don't know. I could um, <laughs> I, I could 100% use some Raycons. <laughs> oh, I'd love uh, if we could get Factor uh, to sponsor us. We could use some meals. Oh, dude. Dude, dude, hello fresh. Hi, I definitely need some dietary changes, hello fresh. I'll bet hello fresh and uh factor would not have screwed up your pizza. Right? Hello fresh, in fact, like I'd be sitting here drinking a nice factor shake, that would be great. Just low in sodium, low in sugar. If you want to get started on HelloFresh right now, go ahead to the website and use our code uh, at Dorkhaven. Get it all for free, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, this is a real code. dot com. dot org. hashtag <laughs> twelve three seven. I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> oh, uh, Fl Flezzy Boy says I think Mass Effect is a pretty cool guy. He kills aliens and doesn't afraid of anything. I understood that reference. <laughs> Ellis is telling me something. I just can't see it because I'm streaming. What are what are you saying? Oh, she's hiding out. She's got a headache. She is, she is cuddling the ladybug. That happens. Oh, uh, our HelloFresh code didn't work, unfortunately. Eh. Well. <laughs> I mean, HelloFresh definitely could take care of some of my dietary problems. I'll, 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 I'll have to get in touch with my good, close, personal friend, Jim Fresh, the CEO of <laughs> HelloFresh. And say, Jim, you're really breaking my balls here. <laughs> and believe me, as somebody who has actually had basically broken balls before, it is not pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a first time chat from FD. Who said, oh god, Mass Effect driving. Oh, yep. That, that would be my brother. And yes, he's not wrong. God, they, they haven't fixed the Mako. Ten years in several games, and they have not fixed it. Remember with the Legendary Edition, how that was like one of the bullet points they promoted? Was how they made the, uh, the Mako better in Mass <laughs> Effect 1? They lied. Oh, yeah, literally, like, I started driving it. It's like, I personally never really had much of an issue with the Mako, but it definitely, yeah, like, I started uh, using it, and I'm it's, like, no, this control's exactly the same. It's still, it's still just as bouncy and, and unruly as, as ever. Yeah. One second. Okay, I'm back. Shadow Cat had something to tell me, but I could not hear her because I had the headset on, so. All I could hear is Hello. gunshots. <laughs> they did. 
Well, they they did make it like less. Uh, they they did make it more durable than a Weedabix wrapped in tissue paper. Like I will give them that. It is now more durable than uh, rice snack cakes. Whereas before, it used to handle like a drunken cow on a unicycle and be about as durable as as uh, rice cake. <laughs> They did at least fix the fact that it was... That it could take less shots than bad snack food. <laughs> You'd have better luck hey, at that point up. armoring yourself with, um... Yeah, I was just about to say, I don't think you've allocated points in a while. That'll be nice. Assault rifle. Assault training. Unlock fitness. Oh, shit. Still have a point. Yeah, I, I have the squad mates auto leveling because I just cannot be fucked. Yeah, that's fair. But yeah, I remember the the old Mako, you couldn't, like, Theorem was a pain in the ass because you couldn't take more than, like, two or three shots before you were just done. First time I ever died in Mass Effect, I drove onto the lava, and the game just immediately hit me with the game over screen, and I'm like, oh, okay. Yep. Like, not even an opportunity to, because I'm like, oh, I'll take a quick shortcut over the lava. I'll probably, I'll take some damage. It'll be fine. And yeah, no, just such, as soon as you touch the lava, it's just game over. Yo. Hits you, hits yeah, you no, with like, that you bassy, just, that do -do, you'd, do -do, do -do, like the you died music. You'd roll forward into these dudes, take an automatic two hits, and just be fucked. <laughs> So yeah, they did make it at least more durable, but they did not fix the handling whatsoever. Correct. I mean, truthfully, I feel like this was one of those things where, like, they claim, like, oh yeah, we, like, built it from the ground up. Like, no, you didn't. There's obvious... The fact that, like, that uh, Paragon Renegade skip cheat thing I told you about from the original game is still here proves that they oh. just used the old game code. Oh yeah, the, oh yeah, uh, Conrad Werner. Um, that that glitch where no matter what you do, Conrad Werner hates you in the second game. Like, you could be as nice to him as fuck, and he assumes that you did the renegade choices. And that's been in there since like <laughs> the original version of game two, and it's still, it is still in the legendary edition. I know because I've played the second legendary <laughs> edition game, and he still assumed that I was pissy toward him. I mean, they Why? probably just they probably just figured like, well, we don't even need to program the good version in because nobody's ever gonna be nice to this guy. <laughs> Well, like I say, he's such an iconic encounter that Starfield copied it, like, verbatim. So, apparently somebody enjoyed it. <laughs> well, I know that the char a similar character ha has a history in, like, the Elder Scrolls games. And I don't know if that... Because they, they claim that the one in Starfield is supposed to be based on, like, the Elder Scrolls number one fan that follows you around. And I honestly don't know which one comes first. Because I don't know if he was... If he debuted in Skyrim, then Mass Effect Conrad Werner would have came first. But if he debuted in Oblivion or earlier, then technically... Uh, that... Oblivion was the first Bethesda one, and that was 2000... Uh, that was 2007, Mass Effect was 2006. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, if he if he was in Oblivion, then they actually did do it first, then. No, Mass Oblivion was 2007, Mass Effect was 2006. No, that but they would have. Mass Effect was not 2006. <laughs> it wasn't? No, Mass Effect was like 2008. <laughs> it was 2007, it was not 2008. I remember because I'd already played it by the time I was in college for the second time. That's all right. I will look up. We will figure out what when all these games came out. 
Alright, so yeah, you were correct. November 20th, 2007 for Mass Effect. Uh, Oblivion came out March 20th, 2006. Okay, I was gonna say, they, they were in development around the same time, though, so it's still splitting hairs. Because if they were both in development around the same time, then neither, like, neither of them did it first, is the thing. Also, I wouldn't take anything Todd Howard said without, like, a massive amount of salt. <laughs> Garrus, uh, I'm gonna need you to snip a riffle that dude, Garrus. Garrus, there's a snipper, and you're good. Garrus, thank you. Uh, God damn it, Garrus. There's one thing I've learned in this game is you can't really rely on your teammates to be anything but useless potatoes. Like, 80% of the time. Well, somebody wanted to play soldier, so I don't have any of the cool powers. <laughs> you could have played whatever you want. All I said was, that's what I usually play as. I never, I never picked you being soldier. <laughs> I said, I said, I don't, I play a soldier because I don't like the bionics. Well, I mean, the coolest power is the charge, so we're playing Vanguard in the next game because, yes, charge. Yep, I'm totally fine with that. I love the third one, which is just like a throwable biotic lurgy. <laughs> You just you just throw space sickness at people. Nice. <laughs> just give them future biotic pneumonia. I used to actually at one point I was legitimately third in the world on the Xbox version of the multiplayer in three. Oh, I'm actually nice. one of the people who was sad that the Legendary Edition doesn't have the multiplayer because I actually enjoyed it. Yeah, I played it a little bit on PS3, and, you know, I've just never really been much of a multiplayer online person, so I dabbled in it, I think, for, like, an evening, and was like, oh, it was kind of fun, and then never went back to it. It was actually really fun, like, but it was also something I played a lot with my ex, which, ugh, bad memories. <laughs> I just resented the fact that you had to play the multiplayer to get anywhere in the single player. Like, it counted that towards your galactic readiness at one point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure by the time the... Because uh, I had got the PS3 version that came out a few years after. Where it was like the, the trilogy release. Because uh, it was the first time that the original was released outside of the Xbox 360. And I didn't want to play it until I could actually play the entire trilogy. But anyways, yeah, I'm pretty sure they already had fixed that by the time that version came out. They had. Um, the, well, I, I, uh, I had the original Xbox, because I had the original Xbox version of all of it. Yeah, I stopped playing my... I had the original on Xbox... Initially, I never made it too far because it took me a bit to kind of get into it. Um, you know, really giving it a try and sitting down was kind of well, like the all right, yeah, this is a pretty good game. But also, uh, around that time that I'd gotten the original, my Xbox account got hacked and I didn't get it back for like three months. And by that point, while I was waiting, you know, for Xbox to freaking get off their asses and fix things i just ended up getting a playstation instead <laughs> so i didn't even end up really getting back into doing stuff on xbox again until like 2012 
And by that yeah. point, I was invested enough in the PlayStation that it's like, yeah, I'll just stick with getting most of my games on this. Yeah, I had uh, I had the original 360 version of it. Uh, I played it on PC a little bit. Uh, I didn't have a PC capable of running it, so I just I bought two and three on the Xbox. Um, on 360, three three was actually the first time I ever pre-ordered a game and went to the midnight GameStop launch party for it. Nice. I miss oh, I miss well. midnight launches. I remember, I have good memories of going to midnight launches uh, at GameStop for WoW expansions with my buddies. We'd make a whole night of it, we'd go and grab like McDonald's and then we'd all go to the mall and get in line and we'd hang out for like two hours with a bunch of WoW fans and get our games and then go back to their place and I'd bring my compute, my big ass, you know, desktop computer, I'd yeah. have brought it and set it up in their basement <laughs> on top of their fucking pool table and you know, just, we'd be playing WoW, like, all night without going to bed. It's like, alright, yeah, it's, uh, 7 p.m., we're all gonna take, like, a two, three-hour nap, and then we're gonna get up and we're gonna be gaming all night. <laughs> yep, I remember I, I did something similar. I had the, uh, the WoW... Not, I did I wasn't playing WoW. I had the, um, midnight launch party of Mass Effect, and we stayed up, and we played, like four hours of three before we had to go to work. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, uh, Crash says, Cousin says if I showed up, you'd send me $20. So, may maybe no Cousin... No such promises. May maybe cous er, Cousin could send you 20 bucks because I'm broke AF. <laughs> <laughs> cousin is broke AF. What are you talking about? Cousin can't even afford good pizza. Like, are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? You can't afford going anywhere that'll get your order correct on the first try. <laughs> right? The olives are really good, though. I'm sitting here, like, picking olives off my pizza and eating them. I'm not, I'm not big on olives on pizza. Like, I'll eat them like a Supreme pizza or something, but... Uh, my usual go-to is, like, pepperoni, tomato, and... Well, I like doing, like, a pepperoni, pork, and tomato at Pizza Hut. I will also do a, like, a... Some variant that will also include uh, mushrooms or uh, green peppers. Mm. I, um... Mine is... And, yes, I know, before... Before my brother gets upset at me for not following my low sodium diet, I'm working on it. Um, <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm not gonna give myself a heart attack yet. Um, my my current one is pepperoni and olives, black olives with extra sauce. Okay. Yeah. Yep. No, no giving yourself a heart attack. These are really shitty to do by myself. <laughs> And also, uh, I guess you're. And, al and also, I guess me. you're a good friend, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Question but, but, mark. But mostly, it would be inconvenient for me, and we can't have that. <laughs> oh well, yeah, Shadowcat says I'd have to get her to do them, and like every time instead of just occasionally. <laughs> like every time instead of just occasionally. And working and around her work schedule at the moment is a pain in the butt. And it's also a pan crust, so it's like all crust. It's great. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm but, a I'm a big pan pizza person. Uh, Shadow mm. Cat is all about that stuffed crust. Stuffed crust is great, but I can't. I can't. <laughs> That's one thing I can't. I can have olives occasionally, and pepperoni, but I can't. Stuffed crust will hasten the heart attack. And you see, just told me not to do that, so... Yeah. See, and, like, I just tell her, like, you don't need to order stuffed crust because I'll stuff your crust for free. <laughs> well, now I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> Thanks for that, Dave. Oh, come on. You've known me long enough. There's no way... Uh, I've known you long enough that I know there's no way that's enough <laughs> to ruin your appetite. I know your sense of humor. <laughs> Ha ha ha.
Besides, I also know how long you waited for that pizza. I feel like there isn't much that good ruin your appetite at the moment. <laughs> right? Like three and a half hours for this pizza. So I, that's why I'm playing so clunky, because I'm sitting here, like, in one hand, like, shoveling pizza into my gob like the trash boss of my am. Oh, let he or she who has play, who has not played Mass Effect with one hand at some point cast the first <laughs> stone. <laughs> yeah, I think there are a lot of, like, Liara and Tally fans that are like... <laughs> Hello. Hello, Liara. I'm sorry, she's still a space 18-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? Yeah, because if you, if you show up after doing Novarian Pharaoh, she's dehydrated and delirious and... I mean, that, that is funny. I never knew that. Next time I do a playthrough, I'll have to try that. Yeah, because she's, um... Because she traps herself in here before they... Before the bad guys get here, so... Like, she just herp to derp derps herself in here on fucking accident. <laughs> uh... Trapped. How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe Get beyond the veil. I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't You're supposed welcome. to. You're welcome. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here. But yeah, I was going to tell you, hurry up and get us a Hello Fresh sponsorship. <laughs> hey, I'm working on it. I would say HelloFresh, uh, you know, yeah, uh, Raycons, uh, all of them. Let, let's do all the sponsorships. Right? We, we want all that sponsor money. We will just do a two-hour stream of sponsorships. And by like the last five minutes, be like, and anyways, here's uh, Tetris for five minutes or something. I don't care. Right? <laughs> Right? Like, I I have one soul for sale, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Reasonably priced! <laughs> no like, ethical qualms! I'd like to think my soul has always been reasonably priced. <laughs> It is a lot better using the um, assault rifle, but then again, I have mods where I can use the assault rifle for any class, so. I kind of fixed some of the shit I didn't agree with with mods. <laughs> I actually have. Li yeah, there, there we go. Thank. So now I have barrier and over shield. Yay. Yeah, I don't I don't decrypt. I'm not we're not doing that. Although I suppose I should uh update my equipment real quick. Okay, I'm going to give Ashley the Reaper 2. I'll take the Reaper 1. Ha! <laughs> FD, this game brought to you by Manscaped and Zip Recruiter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I'm for it. <laughs> right? Like, I... Bring it on! <laughs> Hey, Indeed has been literally fucking me over for 10 months with false hope on jobs that are not real or just contacting people that never get back to me. 
And I, the moment they're in my inbox, like, we want to sponsor you, I'd be like, hell yeah, sign us up. <laughs> like I said, one soul for sale, reasonably priced. I don't even have any other Omni tools. <laughs> Mass Effect 2, uh, FD. Mass Effect 2 brought to you by ZipRecruiter works even better. Can't find the right candidate for the job? Use Super Science to resurrect that. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not, he's not wrong! My name is Commander Shepard, and ZipRecruiter is my favorite sponsor on the internet. <laughs> 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 FD Zip Recruiter saved the human race The elusive man Satisfied customer <laughs> <laughs> Hell we could probably find an AI That would That could do uh, uh, Martin Sheen's voice I almost said Michael yeah. Sheen That's a very different actor <laughs> Shepard, I'm gonna fix the problem with lasers. <laughs> well, how else would you fix the problem? Without lasers? Question mark. Are you sure? If you want to be boring about it, <laughs> right? Like, do you know how many problems in my life I've fixed without lasers that I absolutely wished would have had lasers to fix? Right. Uh, I'm with you. It's like, I understand this teacher's giving us too much homework this weekend, so let me explain to you how a laser can prove that situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fun fact, um... We have to get you out of here before more guests... I, I know lots of teachers, and they would prefer their students didn't fix that problem with lasers. <laughs> Stop being a space racist. I don't even I don't know why the Yeah, you spacist. <laughs> I like Ashley, but yeah, you d I like Ashley post you slapping the space racist out of her. Somebody needs to make a mod that uh puts her in a mega hat <laughs> for the first half of the game. <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, FD says there are few problems I want my students to fix with lasers. <laughs> yeah, but there are sometimes you give them lasers to fix problems. <laughs> He is a computer science slash engineering teacher. Oh, so I I yeah. made I made a relevant uh, comment without even realizing it. Then I know a kindergarten teacher and a third grade teacher and a uh, eighth grade teacher. I know an inordinate amount of teachers. <laughs> I know a lot of teachers, but I haven't talked to a lot of them in like 20 years. I meant as an adult. I know <laughs> an inordinate amount of teachers. I know, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> sorry, that you. Uh, Shadow, Shadow Cat says, uh, I'm sorry, they're just not that into me. Uh, the... You, me, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Robo Krogan. 
It's Rogan. <laughs> In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. He noticed, he just doesn't care, right? Like... For getting rid of those energy fields for us. Have the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not I don't like your odds, Krogan, who the game didn't even apt to give an actual name to. Right? <laughs> Listen, non-named character. FD said, oh god, the Joe Krogan experience. Yes, I'm shooting that guy in the dick. Why? Because that's that. <laughs> it's literally the most convenient place to shoot him currently. Uh, FD says, uh, night all. Night. Well, that's not good. <laughs> that guy's regaining health. That's not good. Okay, now he's dead. He literally just sat there in a lump until he became a dead lump. Once again, Beans is causing a cave-in. <laughs> beans! Beans, no! Beans, yes! Boy, it's like everywhere Beans goes and every adventure with Beans ends with something collapsing or being destroyed. Beans is very unprofessional. Close, now it's time to uh, the brief the count, uh, debrief the council. Volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died. Now we have a first-time chat from Velaro System. Hey. It says professionalism. What is that? As soon as we find out, we'll let you know. Beans doesn't know. That's, um, Joker pulled our Bianca Davis and Melis Marisol Valero handler. I will admit, the name did kind of tip me off. <laughs> well, you know, I just didn't know if you remembered. And not just from the volcanoes. Those guests would have killed me or dragged me off. I mean, they literally have been in Limitless, like, within the last month. <laughs> it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. Do I know these things? No. No, I don't. <laughs> no. You're too busy focusing on your own little bubble. <laughs> I like my bubble, thank you very much. It's a nice bubble. It's homey. <laughs> Look, I wouldn't know who my Zenith team consisted of if not for, like, the fact that it's written down. Somewhere that I can see it. <laughs> yeah, I'm still waiting to get on one of those. Uh, I think you're now on CJ's team. I'm not sure, though. Oh, I don't think I ever got a notification saying I was on a team. Unless they mentioned it and didn't, like, tag me or something. Or I just missed it. Eh, we're still working it out. We've had some exits. I'll talk to Shane about, um... You know, he's got Brittany Taylor that he might be getting rid of, and I don't know what CJ is doing. CJ is just 
all over the place right now. <clears throat> Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one... Oh, Valaro says I might join Zenith once move is done. A feeling derived from a half century of dedicated... Research. Hey, Crash will be happy. I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. I love how, like, the the random Asari scientist chick that you need to pick up just turns out to be right about the entire, like, fate of the galaxy. <laughs> yeah. Also, like, um, you know, her, her harebrained theory is correct. And also, like, you're running around as fucking chicken little shepherd, like, the reapers are coming, the reapers are coming, and everybody's like, ah, you're crazy, oh, fuck, they're here. You're crazy, now you're dead and crazy, now you're alive and crazy, and oh, fuck, they're here. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the... I, I like how they explain that, like... Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, it, are based on the technology of those who came before them. It, it's the fact that all the other civilizations were too homogenous. The Protheans disappeared. Yeah. Like, the Protheans were one empire, and they kind of, like, every civilization before them, plus the Protheans, did this Borg-like hegemony thing, where they forced other races into basically being them, and it crushed, like, it crushed any ability they had to fight back, essentially. Whereas, we're j humans are just like, nah, we're not doing that bullshit. <laughs> It's in my brain! In my brain, meets. There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Vision. In yes, my brain, meets. I think I picked up signals there. <laughs> in my brain, meets. It's right there underneath my hair. In my brain, meets. Chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one. Is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Yeah, it kind of rewrote my brain a little bit. Unclear. <laughs> I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. <clears throat> be remarkably strong will, Commander. Okay, this <laughs> isn't helping us find Saren or the conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you- I like how- Okay, so there's a downside to these casual outfits, because this is supposed to be directly after the mission and everybody went and changed. Uh-huh. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring- So, uh, Crash said Zenith is the coolest, nobody better. And Valaro responded, Zenith stopped the Reapers. And I responded, uh, plot twist, Zenith is the Reapers. However, no, they I, are. I almost mistyped and forgot the E in Reapers and was like, oh god, can't type that. <laughs> <laughs> oops. <laughs> um, oops. <laughs> luckily, luckily I caught it. Like, nope, 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 back, back, back. See, there are two E's, and it took me a second to get that joke. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, I thought about clarifying that it was the first E I almost missed, but I figured, ah, eh, you'll you'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. I have faith in I got you. It. <laughs> well, that faith is heavily misplaced, but you know. <laughs> hey, if, uh, life is all about having misplaced faith in your friends. <laughs> Over. Are we finished here, Commander? 
know it was like Commander Shepard. At least I can understand why people come around to being like, "Oh yeah, Shepard's really important for shit." Like, it, I was watching somebody play the fourth Harry Potter game because apparently there is one, and I'm sitting here like. You know, I remember reading that book, and while I don't remember all of it, what the fuck did Harry Potter do in the Triwizard Tournament? Like, that entire book was people handing him solutions. We can talk yeah. Again after you've seen the, doctor. the rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the council? <laughs> J.K. Rowling had to struggle real hard to justify him being any kind of chosen one by the end. <laughs> Yes, fine, I'll talk to them. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. <laughs> Love Beans' is oddly shaped legs. You just be like, sup, Council. The moment any of you mouth off, I'm hanging up. Let's do right. this. So. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We have a drinking game here on the Normandy. Every time one of the Citadel people, or the... Uh, not Citadel, the council people are an asshole. We take a shot. I've already drank three bottles before I even called you. <laughs> right? It's like, I got ahead of the game. <laughs> um, Y'all y'all are free to be an asshole for like two minutes <laughs> before I drink again. Uh, Yes, it was necessary to blow the ruins up. Even though I did that like before. <laughs> We are all counting on you, even though we're going to sweep all of this under the rug after you save our lives. That's the power of cash. <laughs> <laughs> That's the power of bureaucracy. That too. I like how bureaucracy almost gets us killed. It's very true to life that bureaucracy is the thing that almost gets us killed when galactic disaster strikes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mass Effect 3 is basically red tape the game. Mm-hmm. I love how I have little dudes whose only job is to stand next to the doors and salute me, and they all appear to be clones. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, we've got, um, <laughs> you know, just different headgear. It's, we've got, uh, you know, the Alliance Department of Cloning sent me, <laughs> sent me their test run clones for my top secret mission, and they're like, yeah, they're clones, so they're not very intelligent, so give them an easy job, and Beans' solution was, listen, guys, you're just gonna stand here next to the door and salute me every time I come up. You got that? Shepard, Good. Shepard, Shepard gets on the ship for the first time. <laughs> And she's like, all right, so why do we got these two guys that never leave their stations and are not allowed out on the battlefield and are just here to salute me and that's their only job? That seems completely wasteful. Why do we need that? And then you walk up, you're like, hello, soldier, nice to meet you. And they respond, well, golly, commander, it's great to meet you too. And you're like, all right, I get it. <laughs> I, I no, no. I, I understand. He's the he's the son. They're they're all they're all just the sons of uh, space racist. What's his face? Who dies in the second game? Presley. Yep. Because <laughs> if because you, you can't have bureaucracy without also having nepotism. Um. No, they're, they're, it's, it really is just the clone program, and they're like, I can see the future! <laughs> Dee -de -dee. <laughs> <laughs> and go up, they're like, they're like, it's the future! It, you got something wrong with the cloning program. That's like, you just stand <laughs> there and salute me. Oh, that's not even one of our clones. That's just Caden. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one that knocks himself over every time he salutes. He's running around the ship with his helmet on backwards, swinging a pole, going, I'm a Star Wars! <laughs> you sure I'm are, buddy. You Star sure Wars. are. <laughs> he still thinks he's in Knights of the Old Republic. <laughs> 
Grr, my family was killed by Malik. What's a Malik? <laughs> Let's go, Chewbacca. That wasn't even your character. Character. Wookies. <laughs> 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 Wrong universe. But we can't get back up from the council. Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. I mean, I'm reading it. There's just not a whole fuck of a lot I can do about it. <laughs> I know the writing on the wall. I just can't. Do, what do you want me to do, buddy? <laughs> the council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been It's bureaucracy. Yep. That's funny. Finally get out. What do you want him to see coming? Like <laughs> Okay, in the council's defense, you want them to believe that every 50,000 years civilization is wiped out? I mean, it's a little bit of a tough sell. Like, yeah, bureaucracy sucks, but it's... That is sort of a little bit of a difficult sell. Yeah. What do you... You want them to believe that their best agent got brainwashed by nigh-extinct boogeymen? <laughs> that, that isn't even on the bingo card, let alone on top of the bingo card. <laughs> it's alright that it's not on top of the bingo card, because here on the Normandy, we much prefer specializing in bottoms. Oh, I just flirted with him accidentally. Shit, I was going for the fucking... No, oh, no. Oh, no, it won't ew, matter. You're gonna. You. I, it won't matter. You're gonna kill him anyways. This is what, like, they, they totally should have worked in somehow to mention you making Shepard a biotic if you make Shepard a biotic. Oh? Oh, they, they didn't, but, like... Oh, I thought you I, said, I, I misheard. I thought you said that they did. Okay. No, they should have, like... I, I always wanted, like, if you chose if you choose a Biotic Shepherd all the way through the game, like that fight Jack and Miranda are having after you get both of them loyal. <laughs> Shepard just goes in and biotically throws that chair that they're both holding up in the air and is like, Fuck you both! I'm the strongest human Biotic! Shut up and go back to your rooms! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I don't care, Kaiden. I don't care. But they never, like, they never made it an option for you to be able to, like, acknowledge Shepard as a biotic. Which is disappointing. Yeah. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Eh. I should go. I should go. We are a poke, 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 poke. Much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. He is the best. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. 
I never properly thanked you for saving For some reason she sticks around through all three games just like she resigns from the alliance and then they just accept her back. Actually no no she makes a point if you talk to her she's like yeah they don't even know that I'm with Cerberus I'm just like on leave. Yeah. Like <laughs> like I just took 6 months back pay. <laughs> Like, I just took my six-month back vacation. It's fine. Yeah, because they're like, yeah, the, the system says you're dead, but you're clearly not, so we, we could just, like, re-up your Spectre certification, and you're like, yeah, fine. <laughs> no, but, like, Chalk was. Dr. Oh, Chalk was I thought, comes yeah, with right. you. Okay. No, 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 she's, she's an admiral at that point in, like, the medical field, and she, like, she didn't even resign from the Alliance. She just took, like, six months back vacation and is like, nah, nah, it's cool. I just followed it out here just to make sure they didn't fuck it up when they brought <laughs> you back to life. I mean, that's fair. Uh, Valaro says, Dr. Chakwas is always there. I spent yep. most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long forgotten Prothean ruins. You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Out yeah, it was kind of funny in the second one. They're like, yeah, we're definitely Cerberus and not the military. Anyways, here's your entire military crew back from the original game. <laughs> right? <laughs> Except, like, fucking Kelly and whatever. Yeah. And Ashley or Caden. Yep. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No. I did not oh, she definitely wants to dissect you somewhere. She definitely wants to split you up the middle. That's even worse. Calm down, Leon. Joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time. One of my favorite pieces of trivia is that Liara to Sony and Lightning from Final Fantasy thirteen, same voice actor. Yep. Uh Jack and Jack from the second game. And Nora, the main character from Fallout Four, same voice actor. Oh, nice. I should go. Yep. Goodbye, Shepard. Oh, uh, also Juhani from KOTOR. Hmm. Yep. Same voice actor. KOTOR is one of those ones we should play through for the channel at some point. I haven't installed, so... It'll just be Bioware Monday going forward. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow Cat says BO Monday. Hey Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons. Well, as Why should I pay you for my, my Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I Let's see what you, you got. bet, Commander. And I afford that. I can't afford that. Sell all junk. Apparently don't have any junk to sell. I think in the first game you have to mark things as junk before you can sell them. take care of gear management like oh my cat got into a fight with that skunk again I can smell it I hope he didn't skunk my cat it's gonna be a pain in the ass Snally you better not have gotten skunked 
you just hear from the other room, it's a little too late for that. <laughs> I literally just turned up, meow. And I provided the subtitles. <laughs> is the downside of games like this is the downtime can get a little less than exciting <laughs> unfortunately yeah. well i'll do all the gear management after we you know after we go off air i'll do the gear management and stuff so we're not bogged okay. down with that yeah One of them is literally our best engineer, okay? And the other one is twice your size and stands like five feet away from you like the entire time you're on the ship. So maybe be nice to him. Yeah, be nice to Garrison Rex. Also, you know, Tally's like the best engineer any one of us has ever met, so... <laughs> they may not serve the Alliance chief, but they're Ta Tally keeps this ship together with, you know, like... Tally could keep this ship running if it was falling apart, and at one point she fucking does, so... <laughs> Engines, sensors, weapons... You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We... Humanity, I mean... We have to learn to rely on ourselves. How are we doing for time? You want to be off the air by ten? Um, yeah, we got about fifteen minutes. Okay. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members. I love how they fix the uh the quote unquote neck um you know the 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 neck lines where they had the join of the neck and the body mm -hmm. by just upping the collars. Yeah. On the shirts. Yeah, everybody in the original Mass Effect 1 had like huge ass necks. I mean, they still do if you look at them. Yeah, well, they fixed that, but they fixed that by making the collar weirdly huge on her shirt. Look. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I see it. You'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species. Jesus. And anybody who has to argue about how they're definitely not racist is probably at least a little bit racist. Oh, exactly. Like, sh yeah, like Shadow Cat just said, if somebody says, I'm not racist, but you're probably racist. <laughs> also, she's racist and hasn't even uh, worked with them yet. Like, what the hell? Yeah, well, b because she's racist because her grandfather was the only general that got defeated in the first contact war. Ah, so it's like a the personal... Turians. It's So it's just a personal family thing. Yeah, her, her entire family got blackballed. Uh, her whole family got blackballed. Her father never made it past gunnery sergeant either because her grandfather was the only general that lost, um, he basically the only general that surrendered. Nice. During the first contact war with the Turians. But, like, her grandfather didn't surrender for no reason. You know, uh, he didn't surrender for no reason. He basically 
any time they'd try to move their position, he the Turians sat in orbit and just started glassing the planet they were on. He really had no choice but to surrender, but he was the first general that surrendered during the First Contact War, so he got a bad reputation from other racists. <laughs> So his family kind of took that personally. So I'm just saying, she's at least racist with, like, a decent reason. If you look into her backstory. Shall, shall we keep talking to people or shall we pick another mission and do missions? Uh, honestly, probably might as well just talk to a few more people and call it for cool. the night. Alright. We're, we're not going to be able to make any meaningful mission progress. Uh, with about 12 minutes left. Command. Nice work, young man. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at sea stack. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. But sea sec is buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. I mean, so some rules, yeah, some rules aren't bad. Rules are there to just stop you from how I do it as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol. Oh, if you have to take down if you have to glass a planet to take down a suspect, I think that there should be a rule against that. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things. Yeah. There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I Okay. I said I see. I picked the I see option and she was like, so you're just a fucking quitter then. Let Shepard calm down. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the option I picked. Oh yeah, no, I love games like that where they're like, the option they give you is I slightly disagree. And then you take that option and then the character says, yo, I'm gonna fucking shoot you and your dog. <laughs> Like, wow, that escalated quickly. <laughs> right? Like, everybody gives Fallout 4 shit for your choices not being representative of what you say, but in, in for once, in Bethesda's defense, I think Mass Effect started that. L little bit, yeah. I'm gonna go talk to Tally first. Eh, fine, we'll talk to Rex. Might as well. Shepard, what can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Corian if you want stories. You Krogans lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. Oh, don't be an <laughs> asshole. I heard about that. You know, they almost did it's Rex. Time. He's like 60% asshole. Oh my. He <laughs> is. <laughs> That's the reason Krogans have those teeny cute little tails. <laughs> an infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive. The day for him was just a shower. And I suppose <laughs> it's destroying your entire species. Shadow Cat said, point. "I bet I bet a bidet to him is just a sh uh, it, bleh. I bet a bidet to him is just a shower, because he's a giant asshole." <laughs> now, now I'm just thinking about the fact that Krogans, in fact, have those teeny little triangle tails. Like, what the fuck is up with that? Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you. Eh. Peak character design is what's up with that. <laughs> it's for their balance. It's because they have those huge humps and those big heads, so well, they yeah, need to, like, got... teeny little... It, it, it matches his big-ass <laughs> triangle head. Yeah, well, like, if... I imagine, like, if he doesn't have the triangle tail, he can't stand upright, because he can't balance, like... Yeah. It's it's there for, like, it's, it's big toes for humans. <laughs> Cause did you know like you can't balance without your big toes? I did know that. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. 
Oh, I love Tally's enthusiasm. <laughs> I love the Quarians. Because I, I, I love engineering. The Quarians are just awesome. I always really like the whole migrant fleet thing. I like the idea of it's just like, essentially like a giant floating city of spaceships. Right? <laughs> and I, I love the whole like, uh, race full of like, engineers and scroungers. I love it. Yeah. See, she's rights to adulthood right now. Don't tell me this is not a child. <laughs> oh, I never argued that Tally's not a child. Tally's literally like a six, 15, 16 year old teenager, basically. Right. Keep banging and we'll give you a gift card to Denny's. <laughs> to Space Denny's. Spennies! <laughs> don't worry, we'll be visiting them in the next game to make sure they don't throw Tally out. <laughs> oh, I know, that's still one of my favorite Shepard speeches in the entire trilogy. No, that, that's always the one I look at as the moment where I'm like, yeah, I made the right choice making female Shepard because, oh my god, she crushed this. Yeah. Yup. Jennifer Hale's just so, like, her, at least she emotes. Mar I'm sorry, but Mark Mir doesn't really fucking emote, especially in the first game. Well, I think you said that he kind of took the whole, like, space marine style a bit too seriously. Yeah, he did. And it's just it was... kind of like a kind of a very flat, like, no-nonsense, you know, marine, basically. <laughs> yeah. He took the premise way too seriously, whereas Jennifer Hale actually emote a little bit. Because I'm sure he's a perfectly fine voice actor. It's just in this particular role, I feel like Jennifer Hale's was better suited. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Villaro said, uh, in chat, uh, male Shep, I love when women fight over me. <laughs> I mean, in, in his defense, same. I've never personally experienced it, but if I did, I'm sure it'd be awesome. <laughs>
wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that the, the problem was the hive mind. You hooked them all together. Yeah, they basically accidentally invented the Borg. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, when you have the one that wasn't connected to the hive mind, he, like, immediately becomes an ally. Right? He's like, hey, wait a second. Well, there's a whole group of them that don't hate you. It's just... A lot of them got brainwashed by the Reapers, because notice for, like, the first 300 years, they were just com content to chill on their planet. Like, yeah. They took that planet and were like, fuck it, this is all we wanted. They don't even chase the Quarians up until the Reapers come in and are like, hey, why don't you uh, wipe out all organic life? And they're like, you know what, seems like a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't even all agree on that. Like, there's a whole conclave of them that are like, you know, that's a bad idea. Yeah, uh, Crash says, yeah, Reapers aren't even evil. It's just their nature. And, I mean, yeah, that's that's correct. I mean, they're just doing, like, what they were, you know, programmed to do, basically. Uh, they actually weren't programmed to do that. They took it upon themselves to do that because they have a god complex. If you play the DLC in 3 that talks about their origins, they were programmed as sort of like shepherds, yes, to steward along evolution, but the whole wipe them out and redo it every time they quote-unquote failed thing was a thing that came from a god complex that they basically thought themselves into. Ah, uh. Yeah. I don't see what's so bad about these questions. The Geth were created to engage in mundane, repetitive, or dangerous manual labor. That's fine for machines, but it won't satisfy a sentient being for long. The Geth were showing signs of rudimentary self-awareness and independent thought. If the Geth were intelligent, then we were essentially using them as slaves. It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their... Yeah, that was at the, uh, the Citadel DLC or a different one? The Leviathan DLC. Oh, okay, yeah, I never played the Leviathan DLC. Yeah. Uh, so that a, will explain why a, I didn't know that. <laughs> a race of basically sentient space cuttlefish uh, that has been hiding from the Reapers ever since they created them. Um... Because they're the ones that have that whole uh, ability, the indoctrination ability where they can make other things their slaves. Created the Reapers because they couldn't travel off their own planet. Oh, okay. uh, so they they created Reap the Reapers basically to go, and they called them the Reap. They created the Reapers basically to go harvest more slaves for them because they weren't suited to building anything and could only basically use other species as, as slaves to build things for them and um couldn't leave their own planet and their own like essential labor slaves were dying off due to a mysterious plague that they couldn't fix <laughs> so they created the reapers to basically hey go out into the galaxy and essentially create us a new slave race. Nice. And so the Reaper, the Reapers did this for a while. Uh. Where they would sort of like genetically prod along evolution and technology on different planets and bring them back. And then they saw that they were vastly... So that they basically, along the lines of the Geth gained their own sentience from doing this so much and essentially saw that they were superior to the species that created them because the species that created them was only as good as the slave labor it had so they stopped being slave labor basically okay so they took it upon themselves to be the quote-unquote guardians and shepherds of the galaxy and what happened was they they essentially sent the first set of species is down an evolutionary path um they got there and the one you know one species did what the protheans did where they conquered most of the galaxy 
and became so homogenous that they were essentially all one race now, and so they shared all of the same weaknesses and all of the same specific strengths, and the Reapers went, no, 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 we failed! And so they started just white, and eventually they forgot the reason that they were wiping things out, and they just gained a god complex and took it upon themselves to wipe things out. Ah. But they originally did it for the reason of they were attempting to make a bunch of different species that were not homogenous, that did not share the same set of specific, you know, specific weaknesses. Oh, sure. And that, that is essentially why they lost this time, is because they succeeded in their original goal. They just did so after they lost sight of their original goal. Most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own home. Because, uh, essentially because humans are so incredibly genetically diverse in this universe, we can breed with just about anything, uh, especially in the Mass Effect universe. Um, and all the other races are fairly diverse. Essentially, we weren't so homogenous that they could just murder us all in one fell swoop with the same technique. Right. <laughs> No, yeah, the whole point is if you have 30 different groups of enemies and you can take them all out the exact same way, you know, your galactic conquest is going to take all of 12 minutes. Yeah. It's so not, on not only did we get vastly lucky with Shepard shutting off their, their main way of attacking, but, like, they can't, they couldn't, like, you know, um... Humans were fairly resistant to their indoctrination without becoming useless because they had to apply too much of it. Turians were really resistant to their cybernetics because, yeah, they, I mean, they fixed that kind of by experimenting on Saren, but you get what I'm saying. Like, yeah. each race sort of had its own strengths against their avenues for attack. They... We succeeded where the Protheans failed because we did not have a race like the Protheans trying to make everybody the same this time. Exactly. We didn't have one overarching conquering race. Alright. Well, I think this All is right. a good time to call it for the night here. Uh, when we come back uh, next Monday for more Mass Effect... Uh, I assume we'll be heading to either Pharos or Novaria, depending on what you're feeling. Yep. I usually do Novaria first, because I like Benezia. Oh, yeah. So we'll head to Novaria. Yes, good, I'll, good I'll... old matriarch boob Nezia. Yep. <laughs> Listen, I'm a big Marina Sirtis fan, okay? <laughs> oh, I love and, me some Counselor uh, Troy. Cr Crash has let us know that Zenith results are posted, so... Nice. He said, great timing. Go read Zenith. <laughs> yes, sir. Whatever. I'll do. No, dude, I can't. I can't. I gotta go see if my cat got skunked. I I have to go bathe my cat in tomato juice. All right, Wednesday, when we come back for World of Warcraft, I will absolutely be expecting an update on whether or not your cat got skunked. I will let you know. Um, I need to know if Snally Goster got Snally Got. <laughs> if Snally Gaster got Snally Got. <laughs> it might have been his sister, so like... But it seems like a Snally thing to get into a fist fight with a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just brought a knife to a gunfight, motherfucker, <laughs> as the skunk really raises its tail up. And Snally's like, wrong. 
I brought two knives to a gunfight. And the skunk's like, y you understand how that's not any better. Five <laughs> knives to a gunfight. That's, that's not, like, your claws, it's great, but, like, skunk. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know whether or not my cat got skunked. Uh, and I'll also, like, take care of the gear stuff and all the, like, little things afterward. Oh, yeah. All right, we expect everybody back here on Wednesday to find out whether or not the cat got skunked, and also for some great more World of Warcraft action. I don't know what the hell I'll be doing. Might actually be playing Classic on Wednesday, because the Fall of the Lich King patch drops tomorrow, and I'm very excited to get into Dungeon Finder and finally get to start gearing my goddamn hunter. Because <laughs> nice. I, hate, I hate grouping with people by talking to them. <laughs> I'm too antisocial for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for Blazing Wang, <laughs> uh, well, sorry, for, for Cousin, I'm Blazing Wang. Apparently, I'm Cousin tonight. Who knows? Who fucking knows? I'm Cousin. <laughs> I'm Cousin. You're Cousin. We're all Cousins here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that might be a problem. T t tonight, we're all Hawaiian. <laughs> I'll be Blazing Wang, I guess. All right. I'm Blazing Wing for Cousin. Thanks for joining us on the stream. We'll see you guys Wednesday and, of course, in one week for more Mass Effect. Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. We're up three days a week. Going to be working on getting more. But for now, we're going to leave it at that and say have a great night. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time. Game on. See you next time.